Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. My name is Frozen Mellon, and today we'll be continuing on with our Rogue Arena run. Now, this one it actually is just straight after the other loss that was just so devastating against that Paladin, because I just need to play another game after that one, because just that that was ridiculous. So let's jump straight in. My Elf versus Valera. Watch your back. None can escape my fury. Okay. A fellow rogue this time round. Let's see how this is going to go. Um, I will keep this in hand. Turn 4 play. Technically turn 3 play. I don't have the coin. But it is worth keeping. I can always hear a power on turn 2 if I need to. Now we get a turn 1 play. That's pretty good. Just play it out. But yeah, last game was just one of those ones where... Stuff just happens, and there's not much I could do about it. Annoyingly. Cool, we'll get a clean kill on that. No, it's better now than it is later. I mean, I could have used the spell and prepped the dagger, but... That doesn't really do anything for me. And here we'll just do. Justice is mine. That is great. Now I'll play the pirate. This now has set this up quite nicely for my turn five play if I need to. Which is worthwhile playing here. And then into the mechanical whelp. I remember this having three health. Uh, you gotta love it when they buff cards at certain points. Um, yeah, not having a dragon. It's not very good here. But I can kill that off. Kill this stuff with this damage face. Like I basically I've sacrificed my health total to uh keep stuff on board, which is the better way to go about things. No, they attack twice. No, they only can attack once. Don't know what happened there, my brain had a malfunction as well. And justice is mine. I'm playing the mechanical well part now is yeah, a good idea. They're gonna be worried that I could buff it or I could do something else to it, so they might like just play some random stuff here. See what card they decide to pick. Oh nice. They gave me a cutlass as well. The Queen's Trove is forbidden! And two, three, just take that here because I don't need to play that. I will trade the Cutlass here for an extra card. Kill that off. Now I don't have seven, eight online cost cards, so drawing two minions might be slightly better. But I've already got enough minions in hand to play, so it's not like I need anything else. The direct damage could be more useful, and I think that's what I'll go with. We'll play the mech here. Because I'm more likely to draw sort of any mech type cards, which I can buff instantly with the mech, so keeping these on board is going to be a lot better than having sort of just the plain pirate, which I don't know if I can still get out for free. I don't know if I need more pirate cards. No, I don't. But this should close out the game. 
it is really weird because like especially with arena you can really come across against some broken decks really early on without kind of kind of being pre prepared for it as such and it's probably not so bad but like once you get over that for on a first three win area <laughs> as it were like you normally end up then coming you know, doing fairly well with the decks themselves, you'd probably get them with like four or five wins. It doesn't count itself now, does it? I'll suddenly get a one drop. Like oh no. Maybe they do get other stuff, but yeah, that deck was too greedy by the looks of it. <laughs> and there we go, that kind of gives the good example. But yeah, I do think um, with the arena, it's been quite a long time since the matchmaking has probably got like a rebalancing on everything that's there. And I think sort of what I mean by that is how they kind of play people against each other. Like everyone should have roughly the same sort of style of decks when it comes down to the drafting process and what they've been offered. But the card quality they get is sort of fairly randomized. And majority of what you're thinking then is probably player skill should play a part in like how people win games or stuff. But you can really get some drastic differences between classes on just like how easily you can be beaten by a deck. I mean, a good example is the Paladin deck I played in the last one. If you ever watched that video, like I had no chance of winning that game. Like literally zero from the moment I didn't have a two drop. And yeah, you could say if I did have a two drop, it would have made much difference. To be honest, I don't think it would have done. They just had everything they needed to in that point of the game just to beat me. And there was no way I could come back from it. But yeah, I mean, that's something for the devs to have a little thing about if they want to kind of make this game mode a bit more upfront again as the format. But anyway, if you do enjoy the video, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you all in the next ones. Take care.